Good morning to all. This is uh, Saturday, October 5th, 2024. And this is my uh, pre-walk before I uh, start winterizing everything. Have to go uh, where my palm boxes are stored in the back of my house. And uh, soon I'll be taking them out to do a little maintenance on them and those that need it. And uh, I have to build some extender boxes because uh, some of my palms got so large this, uh, this past summer. Um, winterizing everything. Starting this week. Got some wood there ready for uh, the extender boxes and uh, my tools are ready to go. Uh, pools are ready uh, put away for the winter. And soon my citrus, which are more sensitive, will be going in the second week of October. Anyway, um, got beautiful, large. This banana's got. That's a combination of a, um, excuse me, that's a plane going over, overhead and uh, making a ton of noise. It's a combination of a blood banana and look how beautiful she is. And she started off about a foot tall when I planted her or replanted her from the pot. Uh, the Musa Basu next to it actually uh, stays in the ground. And uh, if you can see uh, at the beginning of the season about a foot tall and she about 20 feet tall right there. It's amazing how fast these things grow. Fishtail palm right there. And my beautiful tracky. Beautiful sunny day today. 70 degrees. Sunny, beautiful. And uh, perfect day to get uh, everything, all the prep done. I will be taking my palm boxes out. Uh, and next week I'll start putting away some of these plants. This is my uh, rubber plant that was given to me. She's getting ready to bloom, and I will be cutting off most of those and keeping it a single stem for space purposes. I don't have a lot of space in my sunroom anymore. Alokasha's got huge, and they're in their pots, and they'll be going in just like that. Colius didn't do as well because uh, they preferred the shade, uh, and since the apple tree lost most of his leaves uh, during the heat waves uh, didn't get as much shade, so they didn't grow as big and uh, as beautiful as, beautiful as they usually do. This is called a Mexican petunia, and look how uh, got some blooms on it. And these blooms come and go daily. It's a very strange plant and beautiful. And take a look at my wandering Jew, which is blooming daily. Some people call this purple haze. I've been heard called that, so it's called a wandering Jew. And as usual, these plants here are shade loving, but they didn't do as well, getting uh, too much sun. But it is what it is, and we got to deal with mother with what Mother Nature get, uh, gives us during the season. Needle palm grew significantly. It's already it's tall at the fence. There's a four-foot fence there. Ninth year. Beautiful specimen. And my Washingtonia Robusta. I have to build extender ring on her because she went the over eight-foot mark already. Brugmansha is full of uh, pots. Once again. And she will be reblooming once again. And all these Plants on this area here are citrus, avocado, papaya. They'll be going inside. As long as my fish tail palm, anything in those big pots. My plumeria keeps uh, getting more beautiful as the season progresses and, and full of uh, blooms. If anybody wonders, this is what the Hawaiian lays are made out of. I think, I think it's native to Hawaii. I'm not quite sure about that. And uh, 
my other plants over here did quite well. This is a bamboo palm. She'll be going inside too. Uh, a fiddle leaf, leaf fig. And this is a quarter line, Australian quarter line. Uh, relative to the red ones, which I call Hawaiian tide right there. Uh, as well as the ones over there next uh, in front of the pool. Petunias are going through a rebloom. Well, uh, it rained uh, for three days last weekend. Those are all petunias, and they're all coming back. Look at even my uh, petunia rebloom. This is a baby uh, pomegranate, which I am uh, I propagated from my friend Louis, who gave me a bunch of plants this uh, season. And these are all petunia reblooms. And part of it is going into seed. And these are the ones that are going to come back next season. Anyway. I want to show you a couple of things. This size for the Musa bus juice. sun is right at noon so the sun is very strong right now look at the size of these things that is my Chinese Exora and she's in full bloom right now last year she didn't bloom till like late October and my zinnias Made a little bit of recovery and uh, well, a lot of the seeds are coming back already. But there's about a million seeds in there for next season. And my Musa Basju, I'd say over 30 feet tall. I wanted to show you, because I always forget to show you, is how well my Sable Miner is doing. And she has grown quite a bit this season. I am ecstatic. It's her third year here, and uh, she's doing quite well. I have another one on the other side, which I'm going to show you. Same uh, age, but it's a lot smaller. Brugmansha getting ready to bloom yet again. All the rain from last week, it rained the entire weekend. Monday, Saturday, I mean Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the pomegranates continue. I've been eating these daily. Still got a ton of them. I eat one a day for breakfast every morning. Try to get the sun away from the camera, but it's very difficult right now. Beautiful sunny day, no clouds whatsoever. And uh, the twilight of the garden, the actual twilight. And uh, in two weeks, all this will be gone and uh, most of it winterized. Crape myrtles are already starting to change color. This banana over here started blooming this week and it's coming out right now, October 5th. And I will be cutting these down in about two weeks. It's just a shame. And I got another one on the other side, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, track is about nine feet tall. 
and I gotta build another extender ring for it. Just like uh, three of them, my chindle palm also. And let's look at the other banana bunch here. Look at that, coming out now. October 5th. And this one right here came out in the beginning of the season and she sort of got stunted because it grew from like the stump. Take a look at that. Big mansion keeps blooming. And my beautiful Pendo. Once I put those fronds up, she'll be close to nine feet tall. And uh, I gotta build three extender rings for my two big trackies and one for this one. Oh, four of them. My Washingtonian Robusta, the big one, also gotta build an extender ring on it. But anyway, this is my other Sable Miner. And third year. And hopefully she'll survive the winter. I put no protection whatsoever on it. Still got more eggplants coming out. More eggplants. My Robolini did quite well, but I have one that had a, a spear pull and I cut it down. And I put some peroxide on it. Hopefully she will come back. That's as far as uh, the damage went. And uh, these, I just cut the, the fronds off, the uh, brown fronds off. And this one uh, didn't spear pull. So I'm assuming she's uh, going to be okay. I'm going to still put the palm box on her and baby her a little bit. I will be putting some, a little bit of fertilizer on her just to see if I could bring her back to life. Anyway. I will leave you with this. This is, uh, let's say, the winter prep pre-walk. Take care of yourselves. God bless. And I will see you next season. God bless.